And uh, Willie, let's talk about how iconic Sony has been. I mean, it's a high-end consumer gadget seller. It hasn't been making money for three years. I mean, it looks like the Japanese people, are they rooting for Sony to get back on track here? Well, they're very ready for Sony to get back on track. You know, in many ways, it's very hard to uh, kind of over... Uh, exaggerate the extent to which Sony is connected to the, to the Japanese economy, to the Japanese psyche. I mean, this is one of those iconic brands, as you mentioned, that is very closely tied to the way that Japanese view their role in the global economy. And the fact that Sony has lost its groove in recent years and become somewhat of an also ran you can argue, in the electronics area, has been a big blow to consumer psyche, to business psyche. You've even heard mm -hmm. the, the government talking about it at certain times. And so in many ways, the idea of Sony having a comeback, even a temporary one, is a wonderful thing. And what about the Japanese corporate culture? You know, as Paul Gordon pointed out, it was quite a shock when Sony announced a Welshman, a non-Japanese as mm. a CEO, Howard Stringer, coming in. How was that viewed? Yeah, I mean, it was fascinating. And also, you know, Howard Stringer, aside from being a foreigner, he didn't come up through the usual seniority-based uh, system that you have, have here in Japan. So in many ways, he was a very, very interesting choice. Um, still somewhat a controversial choice even five years later. Uh, we'll see what happens. But you can argue that in many ways to reform a culture like Sony, to really shake things up, you really needed a foreigner. Um, look at Carlos Guillon at, at Nissan. I think that was a very similar model to what Sony was looking for. And you can argue that they're getting it. Um, we are seeing some signs of life in Sony, and it's a very welcome development. Okay, I want to talk more about the Japanese uh, corporate culture because up until the financial crisis, Willie, you know, it, you basically had these salary men jobs where they're jobs for life that paid you, uh, you know, a certain salary mm. each month. But with the shakeup, you know, we have Sony cutting 20,000 jobs. I guess, um, has that changed in terms of how people are, are looking for jobs and viewing long term stability at companies? Well, things are changing here quite a bit. I mean, um, you know, we had former uh, Prime Minister Koizumi. Um, he changed a lot of the, the labor laws, if you will, to allow more flexibility in the labor system. You know, the idea of lifetime employment is going away to some extent. And I, I think in many ways what you're seeing at Sony uh, is, is a microcosm of what you're seeing in Japan's economy, what you're seeing in Japan's labor market as well.